2015 Audi R5. Audi will offer both coupe and roadster versions, with the roadster being a production version of the HRL concept. Expect an official debut sometime in 2014. When launched, the Audi R5 will offer no surprises. We will basically see the e-tron concept adjusted for street use combined with design elements from models like the Audi R8. Expect Audi's famous front grille with the four circles in the middle, headlamps with LED light, vertical air scoops on the sides, wide side sills, and different aluminum insertions. For the interior Audi will offer the highest quality materials, leather sports seats, aluminum pedals and more sports details. The future Audi R5 is known internally as the 9x1 and will share Volkswagen's new Mimo, middle motor, architecture with the other two blue sport versions. Translated, this means the future sports car will feature a mid-engine configuration. So, while the e-tron concept was powered by two electric motors, the production version will use a conventional engine. With the e-tron, Audi only wanted to show that they could develop electric cars, not that they wanted to. The only e-tron anyone will be seeing so far will be the R8 e-tron which will go into production next year. We expect to see the same 2.5-liter turbo 5-cylinder engine from the TTRS, with output in the 350-horsepower area. We expect to see a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint time in around 4.5 seconds, while top speed will be limited to 155 miles per hour, like any other German model. The R5's main competitors will be the other two blue sport models set to be released by Audi and Porsche. That makes no sense, but that's a strategy the Volkswagen Group always applied. Take the Q7 Kyle and Tour a Golf Rotor Trio, for example. Previous rumors suggest that the R5 will also compete with the future Toyota FT86. But Toyota wants to keep its model in the $20,000 area, so this will not happen. However, on the European market, the R5 will also compete with models like the Lotus XI. The Audi R5 will make its world debut in 2014, and customers will receive their first orders in 2015. Being placed between the TT and the R8, we expect to pay somewhere at $50,000 for the new R5.